Welcome back to Raise That Soul. I'm your host, Brian Vogt. Thank you so much for joining us. Happy Easter. Happy Saturday. Happy weekend. Hope you're having a fantastic day. I also hope maybe that you're out maybe looking at some houses. You listen to us on the phone. Our shows are also all on podcasts. So you can go to uh, Google Play or iTunes and look for Ready, Set, Sold. And whatever segment you want, you can listen to a whole program or just a particular segment. Or maybe many many of our experts have been on there. You want to look at something particular, whether it be insurance, whether it be lending, whatever the situation is, there's a wide variety of experts that we've brought on the show also that you can listen to. With that said, I want to talk about my book. Uh, it did become a number one bestseller. I'm very, 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 very pleased with that and very, very thankful for those people who purchased it and got the book. But Asian Revamp deals with mostly brokers and realtors, but I want to kind of bring up some points that have an effect on you, the sellers. And one of those things that I think needs to be changed, and it's a philosophy I believe in, that time is well past due, is that many agents, I would almost say probably the majority of agents, have no control on what they charge as far as commission goes. And many times sellers get a little frustrated by that because there's just one price. And unfortunately, it seems like that one price goes from broker to broker to broker. The bottom line is is, is that as a seller and as an agent, you should be able to have a free market. Whatever that number is, if that's 5%, 6%, 7%, 8%, whatever it is, as an agent, they should be able to not only tell you what their price is, what, they're, what they charge you, but also show value for that. Because that's really what it boils down to. Do they have the value proposition to help you get your house sold for top dollar in a fast sale? And when brokerage companies impose a certain percentage that an agent has to get, that also not only hurts potentially the sellers, that you may or may not be getting the best agent. It's just this is what the company had to offer. It also hurts the agents themselves, that there are agents for the most part that do very well with giving a value proposition, that they do have great success. But oftentimes we're lumped into one, one model, and it's just simply not true. So that's really important and something I think it needs to be changed in the industry and I think it needs to be changed sooner rather than later. Another thing that I want to bring up too is very simply is is team concepts. Uh, in, the, in the Metro East, more particular than St. Louis, but in the Metro East, there has been some movement for teams. But the truth of the matter is, is most brokerages make it extremely difficult, if not impossible, for agents to, to, to form teams. And what that, for, for sellers, just to kind of give you an idea, uh, you can have a team leader, but they will have buyer's agents underneath them that can, can help with buyers. They can help with with uh, uh, listings. They may have listing agents. The reason why that becomes so important is, is because, let's face it, sometimes when you get an agent, they're a very, very good agent, but they're kind of at their wit's end. I mean, they just don't have maybe the time, and they get a little bit lost, and it gets a little frustrating for, for them and sometimes for the seller, unfortunately. And if they could bring on another agent or two, that could definitely free up their time where they could devote more time, especially to the seller and the, their needs. It's not that the agent doesn't want to give people as much time, but oftentimes because they're such a good agent, they're in high demand. And they simply don't have so many hours in a day, shall we say. And I bring this up is because it, that can have an effect, unfortunately, on sellers. That there are times, and yes, I admit that there are times where agents aren't good in communication, so I get that. But oftentimes, it's just a simple fact is because the agent is swamped. And they're not allowed through their brokerage to be able to get other team members. And that becomes a win-win situation, though, for bringing on other agents because they can share their knowledge. There's a reason why they were so successful, and they can share that with other agents and put a better product out there 
to the general public. And that's important. And I think I think those are one of the things that need to be changed also is is, is that situation. And we talked about in an earlier segment, to kind of finish it up though, training and coaching, and I'll say coaching maybe even more than training, even though training is very important is so critical in our, in our industry, and it's so sorely lacking. It just is. It's not that agents don't want to learn more, but oftentimes brokerage companies don't give an opportunity to their agents to learn more. It's unfortunately far too rare. It doesn't mean that all brokerages are that way, and I don't want to say that because it's not true. There are brokerages that do a good job with training, and they do some with coaching. But far, far few to do that. The vast majority don't have that system set up. And again, I think, look, it's like anything else, whatever profession you're in. When you have training and you have coaching, you're going to have a better improvement and you're going to get a better product out there. And the seller or the buyer is going to have a bigger advantage, meaning is they're going to have a more trained and coached agent to help them with their biggest Right, frankly, their biggest purchase of most people's lives, their dream home, and selling their biggest asset. And I think that we as an industry need to look at ourselves and make sure that the brokerage companies are doing their part. And the agents also need to come to the training too. I, I get that. And that's that's something that I think that if brokerages would offer it more, I think they'd be amazed by how often that the, the agents would come in and get the training and coaching they need to make uh, value propositions and make this thing work even better than what it does now. So that's that's the book that I have. Um, it's called Agent Advantage. You can go to Amazon. I'm more than glad to to, to 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 grab it. I'm not sure what the price is right now. I think we have a special for 99 cents. So again, it's a quick read. But again, I, I guess I'm talking mostly to agents, but it also could be for sellers to kind of know what's going on with this business. Maybe you've always thought about being an agent. Well, this is the time to maybe kind of get a, uh, maybe a different take on what you may have thought uh, real estate is. With that said, I'm going to wrap up this segment and talk in the last segment on some great things that you won't want to miss. Brian Vogt, Ready, Set, Sold. Talk with you. 